Hello everybody, it's Baldrick here. In today's episode, I am bringing you some custom zombies. So, for all you zombie subscribers, here you finally are. Anyway, uh, what I'd like to talk about is the continuation of zombies and uh, my opinions whether it will be in the next Treyarch Call of Duty or not. And guess what guys, I'm uh, pretty keen to get onto this video. So, uh, my personal thoughts are, yes, they'll definitely add this to their game because that's the real reason I really even bought Black Ops 2 so they've got a massive zombie fan base and if they continue it I really think they shouldn't continue the story they sort of just finished in a loop I think they should uh, start a completely new one maybe get a bit more hardcore with the zombie killing add some uh, more I'd say gore to it. I don't know, it's pretty gory as it is, but the Black Ops 2 one, to be honest, isn't that gory compared to World at War, which should be the other way around, because World at War's an older game. Anyway, uh, I think that's because zombies became more mainstream and you get more... Uh, it's, I, I know they don't build it for little kids, but I guess the, the 360 and PS3 weren't really able to handle the high resolution graphics and the gore at the same time, so they obviously had to lower it a bit. But, do I really think Zombies is sort of going to die down? I think it may die down. I'll still keep on doing it because I love Zombies and it's really fun. But, when you think about it, it, it does get a bit repetitive. I think they should sort of maybe add a campaign sort of feel to it. Where you have to defend objectives and everything. Because they've already done a bit too much of this sort of round thing. And I think they should also give you the ability to do rounds as well, but they should also give you the ability to do a full-on zombies campaign. That would be very awesome if I do say so myself, and I would definitely be one of the first to get the next Treyarch game, supposedly... I hope it's not Black Ops 3, I hope it's like World at War 2 or something, but I have no idea what it's going to be, guys. But I really hope it's got some World War 2, even World War 1 weapons in it. Uh, I know Black Ops 2 went into World War 1 a bit, that was pretty awesome. And I hope that with the next gen consoles it will look really spectacular killing those zombies in full 1080p for you console players. But for me I guess it's just the same thing with better res uh, better textures, so it will look really good having all these new textures on the game, and I think everybody will be very impressed with it when it comes out. But at the moment, I think they should release a custom zombies option for Black Ops 2 on PC and console. Look, it's going to be a bit hard for it to do it on console, but for PC, I'm sure it's not too hard for them to release for Black Ops 2 modding tools. That would be just great. They said they may release it, but I've got very low doubt, very low hopes they ever will, because, you know, Treyarch, after World at War, they really didn't give PC players much support at all. Anyway, uh, they're better Infinity than Infinity Ward by a long shot, but still... Uh, I really think they won't release any modding tools, but if they did, it would be really cool to see them uh, somehow release it for the 360 and PS... No, for the PS4. Yeah, sorry, guys, I'm getting confused with Ghost and Black Ops 2. So, on the 360 and PS3, I hope they release, like, the best... Like, they see all the PC maps and they released the best of them as free DLC downloads. That would be like great for the entire community it would keep black ops 2 alive for even longer it's sort of dying down i find more games on modern warfare 2 than i do on black ops 2 so that's a bit sad but anyway i really hope you uh zombies guys enjoyed this commentary uh i'm playing i think yafil's box it's a one room custom map for pc water war it's very fun. I really highly recommend you download it just for your own enjoyment. It's got pack punch. It's got perk machines. They're random for perk machines, but it's really awesome. And the pack punch weapons are modified, so like some of them shoot fire, some of them just are fully automatic, even though they're meant to be semi-automatic when pack punch. It's just awesome, guys. I really hope you uh, give this map a go if you've got World at War for PC, because there's no reason why you shouldn't. Create a zombie modding account or whatever and download this epic map. See you later, guys. I hope you have a very nice day.